Salut coders, this is Fiski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are diving into the world of key clock theming. If you are new to this channel, may you kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos. So, what is key clock theming? Why do you care about it? Let's find more in this video tutorial. Keyclock is a powerful open source identity and access management solution. It provides features like single sign-on, identity brokering, and user federation. While Keyclock comes with a default look and feel, theming allows you to customize its appearance and behavior to match your brand and enhance the user experience. But why theming is so important? Here are the top reasons why you should consider theming your Keyclock instance. The first one is brand consistency. Theming helps ensure that your login pages, registration forms, and other user interface align with your company's branding. This creates a seamless experience to your users, reinforcing the brand identity at every touch point. The second one, improved user experience a well-designed theme can make your authentication processes more intuitive and user-friendly by customizing the ui you can simplify the user journey and reduce friction during login or registration third one enhanced security messaging custom email templates and error pages allow you to provide clear and specific instruction to users. This can improve security by reducing confusion and helping users recognize legitimate communication from your organization. The fourth one is localization. Keyclock theming supports internationalization, enabling you to provide a localized experience for users around the world. This makes your application more accessible and welcoming to global audience. The fifth one, differentiation. If you are running multiple rooms within Keyclock, theming allows you to create distinct experience for different clients or services. Each room can have its own theme tailored to the needs and the branding of different segments. As you can see in this screen, I have modified the UI, I have my logo, I removed Keyclock and I removed the documentation here and here I just leave admin console. So by theming you can also change this. So let me go to my administration console. This is now my new look and feel. As you can see it's looking beautiful. This is what you want to have your application have a custom theme. So by doing this, I'm going to show you step by step how you can achieve this. So in our project, uh, if you go to resources of this Spring Boot, we have Keyclock folder and I added themes and the name of my theme, it's called my theme. So here you can see uh, you have to add these folders by default and they are required if you are adding your custom theme and you have to add account admin email login and welcome so if you look into the account this file is required always which is theme.properties but i added resources because i wanted to put my logo so that's why i added this but this file theme.properties it's a requirement for all these folders so then i have this if i go to admin you can see i have theme properties also and I added some custom messages here, which I wanted on my UI screen. So this message is the messages that you can use as, we, as I told you about localization. So you can add for, for German, for French, for Spanish, and you add the values that are shown when a person is using French. So in the resources, I also added my logo and remember theme.properties and put the parent, which is Keyclock V2 
and you can see here in my account theme parent it's version 3 so make sure if you are having issues with the version here you have to confirm which version of keyclock are you using as for me i'm using version 25.0.0 so we can go to email in email i just edit the parent theme and i just put a base which is the one that is being extended it's either base key clock key clock v2 key clock v3 currently we are on key clock v3 but i'm using the base then in my login that's where you can customize your screens based on what you want so to get this these screens to start modifying them you can get them on the github if I go to Keyclock GitHub, you can clone the project and you go to themes. And from themes here, let's look for, let's go to this theme. And you can take the theme that you want to modify from here. So for me, I'm using let's go to key clock v2 so you can see this is the login and these are the css for login and this is the login css so i can copy this login css so you can copy the login css if I go to resources, I have login CSS, this one, and I can modify the one that I have here, and I can reload the page. So after reloading the page, this is how the CSS is looking, looking on my screen. So this CSS is not compatible because I have modified my CSS. So I can put it back. So I have put back my CSS and it's now looking good. So this is how you can modify. So you can take these themes that you would, you can take the themes that you want to modify from this GitHub repository. If it's a in login and you can take it there and you can start to modify. If you go to base, that's where you can see. So if you want to modify a login OTP, you just take the file here and you can add it into your folder and you can start to customize the html so you can take the file that you want to modify for login and you can add it here and you can start to customize it and we have some css that you can use so for me here i have this css which is the login css that I am using and I also modified the images for the logo so this is my logo I added my logo and I added my login background so if I go to this a template you can see here there's some way I added so in my background I added login bg to remove the key clock background so this is how you can customize and you can go through step by step to do this so after you are done with these themes and you added your themes that you want to use and for my welcome i also modified it modified it and i removed everything that i don't want and in my resources if i go to if i go to theme properties i added the name that is my code with bisque and you can also do the same for your files so the one thing that is left now is go is to go to docker composer yaml and in my docker composer yaml you can see i added this volume so when the application starts you can see this path which is themes my theme this is the path and i'm adding it to the key clock themes so that the key clock will be able to use my theme then i will add this kcspi theme default to set it to my theme so that it will start to use my theme 
and here you can run docker compose app and we are done you can see all the changes that we have made and i can go to the login page and i can log in into my application as you can see theming in kicklog not only enhance the visual appeal but also significantly improve the overall user experience it's a powerful way to make your authentication system work better for your users and your brand don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and take insights thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video